Hey everyone, this is example number two for seismic design of structures. The problem statement that we have says we need to compute the seismic design force and seismic shear force and check the lateral deformation for a structure given the following information. The building material is reinforced concrete. The nature of building occupancy, it's going to be used as a minor storage facility. The basic seismic force resisting system that's used is an ordinary reinforced shear wall system. The number of stories is two, two-story building. The height of each floor or story is 12 feet. The weight of each floor is 40 kips. The seismic design category is category D. The soil type is soft rock. And the design spectral response acceleration coefficient for short periods, SDS, is 1.35G and we're asked to use a simplified analysis procedure if it is applicable. So here's a figure of our two-story building. The height of each story, height of each floor is 12 feet and the weight is 40 kips for each floor. And we need to compute the seismic design forces and seismic shear forces as well as check for lateral def deformation for this building. Uh, before moving on to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And let me just show you their website. So Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. And Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. And I personally have used uh, Bentley software. I've used it in the past and I currently use it, including SAX, Bentley RAM, Bentley STAD. And I can say that this, all, the, all the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. So whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you just want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to the solution, the first thing we need to do is identify the risk category for this building. So we're going to use the International Building Code version 2012, section 1604.5 table 1604.5 and we can see based on the nature of occupancy we can determine the risk category so our building is going to be used as a minor storage facility so this table tells us that the risk category for this is going to be equal to one next we need to identify the site classification using table 20.3-1 of ASCE 7-10 so this is based on the soil type. So our soil type is a soft rock soil. So this tells us that the site class is C. So site classification C. And now we need to check if we can actually use a simplified analysis procedure based on the limitations provided in ASCE 7-10, section 12.14. So we have to meet these conditions or else we can't use this. And some of the main conditions are so here, are, here, here they are. The risk classification of the structure based on the nature of occupancy can only be risk category one or two. So in our case, we have one, so that's good. The site class cannot be class E or F, and we have class C, so that's okay. The maximum height of the structure above grade cannot be greater than three stories. Our building is two stories, so that's good. And the seismic force resisting system that is utilized must either be a bearing wall system or building frame system. So we're using a bearing wall system. And the structure should have a minimum of two lines of lateral resistance in each of the two major axis directions. So we satisfy all these, condi all these conditions. Therefore, we can uh, use, continue to use a simplified analysis procedure. And now we need to find the response modification factor using table 12.14-1 of ASCE 7-10. And so, like I said, like I previously mentioned, we're using a bearing wall system. And we look on the second, uh, the second number, we can see the ordinary reinforced concrete shear wall. That's what we're using. 
uh, that was that's what the problem statement told us that we're using as our seismic force resisting system and the response modification factor is this second column here and so we're using r equals four so r equals four so this is the end of this video in the next video we're going to continue uh, ca uh, to calculate the lateral forces and shear forces as well as the overturning moment so see you guys in the next video thanks